It's bad enough when you lose your car keys or your cell phone, but when you lose an invention that could change the course of human history, that kind of smarts. There are many weird and wonderful inventions which mankind has misplaced, repressed, or for some reason, ignored. Such as a Greek drug which cured depression, a concrete so strong it helps buildings last over two millennia, and a technology which could be the force behind all those strange floating objects in the sky. No, not the clouds, UFOs. So, without further ado, Let's take a look at our list of the top 7 lost inventions and technologies. Number 7. Nikola Tesla's Earthquake Machine If you lived nearby to Nikola Tesla's laboratory, you'd be kept up at night more often than if you drank a whole bucket of Viagra Espresso just before bed. His neighbors reportedly complained to police about noise and vibrations which shook the very foundations of their homes. And on one particularly violent occasion, Tesla was forced to smash his own invention with a sledgehammer before it reduced his laboratory and the nearby area to rubble. And that invention was the earthquake machine. His machine was blamed for an earthquake which hit New York in 1898 and it worked by forcing steam through an oscillator in order to power pistons attached to an armature. Modern-day scientists have tested Tesla's design and found that while it did work, it didn't produce the devastating effects Tesla reported. Which begs the question, was there a more powerful design which is yet to be uncovered? And if so, did Tesla destroy it for fear of the damage it could wreak? At 6. The Perfect Violin during the 17th and 18th centuries, the Italian Stradivari family created the finest violins, violas, and cellos the world has ever seen. And sadly, they're the best we're likely to ever see for some time. Nobody has ever been able to accurately reproduce the stunning sound quality of a Stradivarius, because thanks to global temperatures at the time, the wood's density and treatment procedures are completely unique. There is also the problem that the Stradivari family, particularly Antonio Stradivari, were master craftsmen who understood how to create string instruments better than anyone before or since. The secrets of the perfect violin have been lost to the Stradivari family plot, and with only 600 genuine Stradivarius violins left. 5. The Key to Free Energy Victor Schauberger was an Austrian inventor most famous for being the subject of conspiracy theories regarding his purported creation of a perpetual motion machine. Now, obviously, if we believed every online conspiracy theory, that guy from Keenan and Kel would have died like nine times already. So, what are the facts behind this myth? Victor Schauberger never claimed to have invented a perpetual motion machine. But he was a genuinely brilliant inventor whose revolutionary designs were inspired by nature. Victor saw flaws in man-made components such as propellers and engines, and then looked to nature for ways to improve them. During World War II, Schauberger was tasked with advising the Nazi government on new propulsion methods, including his famous Vortex technology, and reportedly had many direct meetings with Hitler and Himmler. It was during this time he claimed to have created the most efficient source of power known to man by drawing on Earth's energy. But as the war turned sour for the Germans, Schauberger was captured by the US intelligence and brutally interrogated. The rampaging Russian army destroyed many of Schauberger's notes, and the US government took the rest. On his deathbed, Schauberger remarked, They took everything from me. Everything. I don't even own myself. Number 4. Antiquity's Answer to Depression We know that the ancient Greeks were a pretty advanced society by anyone's standards. Except for that whole icky philosophy on mentoring. That was kind of gross. And aside from all their philosophical and technological advancements, the Greeks also had a solid understanding of medicine. Particularly, how to treat depression. According to Greek literature, Bereaved families were often given a drug called Nepenthe, which was known for its ability to chase away sorrow. And while some believe this drug was fictional, there is evidence to show that it genuinely did exist. 
In ancient Greek mythology, Nepenthe was taken from Egypt, and its side effects of forgetfulness sound somewhat similar to opium. But if this drug was unique, then where is it today? Did they use it all up to forget their troubles? After a day of ancient Greek Big Brother Day, I'm sure you would too. In at 3, the most delicious ketchup you'll never taste. Garum was a condiment made by the Romans using liquefied and fermented fish guts, mm -mm, which were macerated in salt and left in the sun for three months. Mm -hmm. The clear liquid which formed on the top was strained off and mixed with an unknown variety of herbs, and this mixture was so popular, the Romans built factories dedicated to pumping out this weird fish gut ketchup. It reportedly tastes so delicious, everyone from emperors to peasants would douse their food with it, and scientists believe it would have probably been a meatier, more umami-driven version of Thai fish sauce. Unfortunately, modern recreations of the recipe are downright disgusting, mostly because they're based on guesswork and involve a different kind of fish, due to the Romans wiping the original species off the planet thanks to their greedy fish gut lust. Roman garum was also apparently very good for the body and often used as a medicine, so it was an ancient version of Buckley's. And we've traded fish guts for spruce knot. How far we've come. At 2. Roman Concrete The Colosseum, the Cloaca Maxima, the Pantheon, the Bon Jugar. What do they all have in common? Yes, they'll all look like places you'd parkour the crap out of on Assassin's Creed, what they have in common is they were all built by the Romans, each one remaining standing as strong as ever today. This all thanks to Roman concrete. Allegedly, the original ancient recipe has never been made public, as it was deemed a trade secret, which no stonemason should ever reveal. The Romans reportedly added many different things to their concrete mix, including burnt lime, milk, and human blood. But nobody knows the exact ratio of cow and people juice to properly formulate the super strong substance, or if there were other materials used in the process. Modern buildings made using inferior Portland concrete are showing signs of wear much earlier than the Roman ones ever did, so it seems likely that in a few hundred years' time when all our buildings have turned to dust, the constructs of the Roman Empire will remain standing tall, as they have done for two millennia. And at number one, the secret UFO technology. Many believe that whenever a strange metallic object is seen floating in the sky, there's only one place it could have come from, outer space. But if you believe the claims of Thomas Townsend Brown, the origin of those mysterious objects may actually be a little closer to home. Townsend Brown believed that he had discovered a way of manipulating gravity using electricity, and he developed a device called a gravitator which he said would help propel the ocean liners of the future and send fantastic space cars to Mars. Townsend Brown demonstrated this technology to military officials on several occasions, yet whenever he handed over working prototypes to interested parties, he never heard back from them. And nor did he receive his prototypes back. Some believe that this technology could be what powers some of the unidentified flying objects seen in our skies over the past few decades. So if true, is humanity being shielded from anti-gravity technology? Could real hoverboards be on the horizon instead of those lame-ass self-igniting skateboards? Or will we be forever deprived of anti-gravity technology for the simple reason that we'd probably kill ourselves within five minutes of trying it out? Did you enjoy our list of ancient inventions which humanity has lost between the sofa cushions? If so, take a look at our last video on the greatest historical mysteries for more old-timey secret shenanigans.